Hi, I'm Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. I'd like to share some information with you today about metformin side effects. So what are the most common side effects of metformin and what can be done about them? So just an overview here, the top side effects of metformin are diarrhea, nausea and vomiting, gas, weakness, lack of energy, indigestion, abdominal discomfort, headache. So you can see the most common side effects are GI or gastrointestinal related. And we'll start with the most common one, just an overview here. Um, diarrhea is by far the most common side effect of metformin. It occurred in 53% of patients taking metformin in one study. So that's a very large percentage. And um, there's a lower rate of diarrhea with the extended release tablets of metformin, only about 9% compared to about 50% and the incidence of diarrhea can be decreased by taking metformin with a meal. For many people, diarrhea goes away within two weeks of starting metformin, and, but you may, if your dosage is going to be increased, know that it may return with that dosage increase. Um, nausea and vomiting is the second most common side effect of metformin. It's been recorded, reported to occur in about 25% of patients taking metformin. Now there is a lower rate of nausea and vomiting with extended release tablets, only about 6% compared to about 25%. And as with the diarrhea, the incidence of nausea and vomiting can be decreased by taking the metformin with a meal. And for many people, nausea and vomiting also will go away within two weeks of starting the metformin, but it may return with a dosage increase. Um, gas or flatulence, that would be the third most commonly reported side effect of metformin. It's reported to occur in about 12% of patients. Um, for many people, like the nausea and vomiting and the diarrhea, it also does go away within two weeks of starting the metformin, but it may return with a dosage increase. Um, the other GI side effects that are commonly seen with metformin include indigestion, which will be like upset stomach or heartburn, it's been reported to occur in about 7% of patients. And abdominal discomfort has been reported to occur in about 6% of patients. And this is most likely due to, to the gas. And some other common side effects that were on the chart there, um, weakness or lack of energy, this is called asthenia. It's been reported to occur in about 9% of patients. And headaches been reported in about 5% of patients taking metformin. And um, just a kind of an overview here of um, how to decrease the side effects from what, what I've already spoke about here. Um, be sure and take metformin with a meal. Talk to your doctor about starting with a low dose and gradually increasing it. And talk to your doctor about switching to the extended release metformin. And the numbers, the percentages that I've talked about here for the incidence, they can be found on the FDA.gov website with the glucophage, or that's the brand name of metformin, the package insert. And I have the link here if you would like to look at that anymore. And I just want to say thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with others who may find it helpful. And please subscribe to see more of my drug information videos. Thank you.